Dispelling myths, educating new audiences, and celebrating firsts, a film about black surfing and aquatic culture is coming to the Little Theater. The showing Wednesday comes just days before surfing takes the world stage at the Summer Olympics. I spoke with the filmmaker about the inspiration behind the documentary, Wade in the Water. The water is very liberating, and I just think that that's a beautiful connection. Wade in the Water, a journey into black surfing and aquatic culture, chronicles the 1,000-year-old tradition of black surfing from Africa to the Caribbean to America. They come across Africans, and every African group, they were just uh, so impressed, they would say, these people are the best swimmers we've ever encountered. The filmmaker, David Mespin, says this documentary was born out of tragedy. The unfortunate death of George Floyd. Um, one of the challenges for me was when my son posed the question, why are they killing us? And I really couldn't answer it. I needed to express myself and the way I could express myself was to tell this story. I knew the ocean had a healing quality, so I wanted to tell their stories. The stories of black surfing legends, icons, and community leaders. Mesfin says it was his attempt to create a narrative to help drown out the negative stereotypes and images of black people. Even though it is it is about aquatic culture and surfing at the surface, but I think it, when you dig deeper, when you watch the documentary, it really talks about injustice. It talks about how history is not told the way that needs to be told through our lens. It talks about our spiritual connection to the ocean that we've lost. This overlooked history is also an opportunity to inspire a new generation of competitors and swimmers who love and respect the water. I didn't know this was part of our culture. That is a consistent narrative that I keep hearing over and over again. Inspired by an overwhelming sense of pain, this award-winning film seeks to expose the healing that can come from exploring or wading into something much greater than ourselves. And the 7.30 screening tomorrow evening at the Little Theater is part of the Black Cinema Series. The filmmaker and other black surfers featured in the film will participate in a panel discussion afterwards. The film also includes some black surfers from New York. We have more details at rochesterfirst.com.